Good evening. Good evening. Well, welcome to today's session on the NGIGO virtual lecture series. Um, in our previous lecture, we used Excel to try and then develop what we call Table 1, or the table of introduction, or table that actually speaks about the background of the uh, individuals or respondents that we have taken data from. So we're going to repeat that same thing, but this time around, we're not going to use uh, Excel throughout, but we'll try and then use SPSS to do that, so that we'll see how it could also be done in SPSS as easy as possible. So this is the data that we used. Um, this was the data that we actually worked on. So for us to be able to use the SPSS in doing that analysis, it means that we need to code this data into uh, what you call numerical codes. Then we will then take it into SPSS and then we we'll use it. So by way of coding, we can simply just do a find and replace and then put the codes in there. So quickly you go along with me and then we do that. Then after that, we take it into SPSS and then do the analysis that we did last time. Right, so you go to find and replace. That is the binary clause that is here. So you go to find and then go to replace. So we're doing it for the first one. So wherever we see pepperal, okay? So I'm just copying it and pasting it. We'll place it with one. So let's hurriedly do that. We'll place it to wherever we see for the status, wherever we see pregnant women. No, no cutting. Copy. So wherever we see pregnant women, we're going to put what? Two. Yeah, so that should be two. Hello. So when we do that, we finish with the classification of this one. Do you agree with me? Yes. Okay. Then we come to this one. For this one, because of the way it is, uh, there are ways that we could do it. Uh, we did a classification yesterday when we were using the uh, number filter. So we could do the same number filtering and then put the numbers there. So what we could do, one way of doing it is just come here and then just insert. So they are copied cells, right? Okay. So what I want to do is to just go and then just cut the function out. Take the function out, okay? So we come to this side, and then what we want to do is that we want to insert uh, uh, another cell. Then we come to this side, and then now we filter. So we'll filter this one from here. So quickly, the first one was what? When we're using the number filter, you come to this side, the first one was what? Less than 20. So we put less than 20. So if you do that, it's going to show only the ones with 20. So for the less than 20, we will put a parallel number against them as one. And then quickly what? Screw it to cover that particular side. Hello? Yeah. Then we go on to the next one. So on the next one, which was what? Greater than or equal to 20, but less than 30. Yeah. So we come to this place, but less than we choose the less than what the button, but less than what 30. So, yeah, I realize that my number this thing was off. I'll put it on. But less than 30, we just click on OK. So that is the numbers that are showing. So we'll put two for that. Hello? Yeah, so we screw again all the way down to cover just that particular part of the data. So we are coding it. We can just do find and replace, or we can do the sorting. Any of them that we could do for work. Now the next one will be greater than 30, greater than or equal to 30, but less than 40. Okay, but less than what 40? So if we do that, that also give us. So we place that place with three, and then we hold down here, we scroll, and then we place the whole of that column with what with three exactly at the end of it. Okay, what is the next classification, please? More than 40. That is greater than 40, greater than or equal to 40. Okay, so that is 40. So all the rest, and we have only one there. That is uh, four. four. Oh, sorry. That should be four. So we put four here. Good. So once we've done that, we can go back and release the filter easily. We can just go, go back to this side and then just release the filter. 
Okay. Good. So that is that for the distance. There's one that is missing, but I think that is three, right? Hello? Yeah, that's three. Okay. So now this one becomes our new Q2 that has been coded. Okay. So we take this one out now and leave only the code stuff. So it means that at this level, we are not working with the original sheet. No, we've copied that. That is the working sheet. The original sheet is here. So we bring the rule that you don't work on your original sheet. Good. So let's come to the marital status part. Let's do find and replace. That will be better in this case. So wherever we see singles, we want to replace it with what? One. So wherever we see single, we want to replace it with one. Oh. So is that the only single I run? Okay. Wherever we see married, we want to replace it with what? Two. Two. I hope somebody's keeping those ones down for me. Yeah. Want to replace it with two. And then where we have cohabited, we replace it with what? With three. Good. So that does it for that session. Now we come to this side. So when we are in this side, we'll do the same thing that we did with the other side. Um, again, the distance filter, some copy filter is on, so I just clear that. Then I come to insert. Okay, since this is a continuous variable, we use the filter to do that. So we come to filter, we select filter for it to be filtered, then we come to this side. And I think it's the same categorization we did, right? Less than 20. So less than 20. So these guys, we put them one there. Then we go to the next one. That should be greater than or equal to 20, but less than 30. So we'll put this one there. That should be two. So we scroll down to cover the whole of that area. Now we'll move on to the next one. Then that should be greater than or equal to 30. And less than 40. Less than 40. That'd be three, right? Good. So we put a three in the scroll all the way down. We move into the next one. That should be greater than or equal to forty. So that should be what four. So if we do that, we now go and release the filter. Just clear every filter or something. Yeah, so now that becomes what? The new Q4 in quotes. So we can easily take this one out. Good. So we come to education. We will do find and replace for that one. So for those with none, we'll place them with one. Uh, it doesn't mean that everything you have to start with one. You can replace it with any number. So we choose to replace it with one. Then basic will be two. Basic will be two. It also doesn't need to follow. You can make your basic for five, any way you want it. 22, 200, it's up to you. Then the secondary becomes three. So the secondary becomes free. And then the last but not the least, the tertiary. The tertiary becomes what? Four. Becomes four. Yesterday we talked at length about some of these classifications and what you should do and what you should not do. So we come to religion. Again, we take this one, the Christianity one. 
and I will make it what one. Okay, then we go for the next one. Which one was that? Muslim. There is Muslim, yeah. Then Muslim becomes what two? Muslim becomes two. Then the next one. Do we have any other classification? Others. Okay. Others becomes what three. The others become three. Do we have any other classification among these groups? They were the only three groups we had. Okay. But then, um, you know, because we're not selecting all the sheets, something has happened here. It has went to this, gone to this side also. Okay. Don't worry. None. Yeah, those are none. So here, when you come here, none means what? One. Then, former becomes two. Okay, informal becomes two. Okay. And then the formal. The formal becomes what? Becomes three. So the formal becomes what? Three. So when we do this, it means that we'll be able to transform the, the data into what? Into codes. Yeah. Um, I think this side we replaced the where the empty places we replaced or well, we left it there. Okay, we left the empty places there. Right. Okay, so now we can click on save to save this one. Go for uh, IBM. Okay, SPSS. Go for IBM SPSS. Open the new sheets on IBM SPSS. So whilst the IBM does these things, um, what we are saying is that as for the software or the preferred software that you use, it's your own decision. Um, they will all give you the same results as we will see as we go along. They all give you the same results. So we just have open two of them instead of one. So let me just set it. Good. So here we're going to pick the data straight. So we go to file, we go to open, and then we go to what? Data. Okay. Then when we come to the data, the data was put in what? In our research consult, it's in SL. So we go to, it's in the desktop. We go to the desktop. We go to this side, and it's in a new analysis, new or new, new analysis. analysis. Down on the left, good. New analysis. So what we get here, we change the format from the down here to what SL. Now it's appeared. We come to this side. And then we open. You know, one of the things that we didn't do is that we didn't label that sheet that the this thing is on. Okay, so let's that is sheet two. If you don't label it, that means you have to keep it in your head. So that is, is in sheet two. The, the data we want to pick is in sheet two. Okay, so now we pick sheet two. That is where we want to pick our data. Okay, so if you do that, you realize all that this thing has been loaded. The data has been loaded into your SPSS, all the data we added on it. So we now go to the variable view here, and then go and put the values for it. So we come to value for the status. We know that one, we use one for what? Peporal. What? Yeah. So wherever we see one, it is pepora. Wherever we saw, we see two, it is what pregnant. 
so that does it for the status we'll move on to the next one that is what question two and what was the age age okay so one was what less than the one was what less than 20 and then two that was 20 to 29 I think 20 to what 29 and then the next one that was the free yeah that is free free was 30 to 39 and then the four was 40 and above okay so greater than 40 uh, greater than or equal to 40 so uh, we'll do this something like this equal to 40 when we go to where we want to present the data we'll polish them up so okay then the next one is what question three marital status so we have one for what single Singles like Raj, Raj, <laughs> two for married like Res, <laughs> then three for cool habits like Adam. Adam, where is she? Okay, then the four is what? Four is what? Educational status. Educational status. So one was none, right? Or no education. Two was basic. And three was secondary. And then four was four was tertiary. Good. The following question is also the same, right? No, I'm not going to be for partners education. Okay. Then the following question is what? <laughs> we did two. Yes. We did two. Exactly. Take your time. Let's go back to the question here because I think um, we may be doing something wrong. So this is the questionnaire we used yesterday. So question one, question two is age, question three is what marital status, question four is partner's age. Hello. So question four is partner's age. So this one, cut it and bring it down here. Okay, let me just copy it and bring it down here. Then go to this side, copy this age, and then bring it to uh, here. Good. Okay, so let's go to question five is what? Well. Let's look at question five. Question five is educational status, which we have done. So question six is partner's educational status. So we just copy the same thing and put it here. Then question seven becomes religion. So, for religion, we have one was for what? Christian. Two, I remember was Muslim. And then three was others, right? Other others and so forth. Then let's go to question eight. So question eight. Question eight was what? Partners religion. No, let's be careful with that. There is question eight. And if you can see the table we generated yesterday, they were all there. Uh, partners age, respondents what? Educational background, partners educational background. I think today is inspired. Yeah, 
but the question one to eight that is what they are the double distance are. this is the question we use so one to eight that is what we have there. so we can omit the ones we didn't add most of them. right so uh, according to the questionnaire like we have an question eight question eight is what partners religion then nine and ten are what employment status partners employment status and yeah so let's go back to SPSS. so this one becomes religion partners religion so we just copy the same thing from here and put it here but let's be careful let's add tradition because we didn't know the class there was nobody like that right okay so we just copy this one and then put it here and then this one becomes what employment and then one was what none that's unemployed and then two was informal uh, two was what informal And then three, three was former, the white color job. And then former are the blue color jobs. And then the blue color jobs. So we copy the same thing and put it here. Yeah. So now that we've done this, if you come to this side and you click on this one, you realize that the table changes to respond to the individual address that we have given it. Yeah. So uh, we can easily down do the analysis that we were doing. Our interest was just to do what frequencies and then proportions. So when you do something like this, better you save. So you click on save and wherever you want to save, you save it. So let's give it a name of uh, demo. Or uh, demography. Just click on save and save it. So now what we want to do is that we want just the frequency and then what? Proportion. So if you want frequency and proportion, you go to Analyze. Then you go to Descriptives. Then you go to what? Frequency. So you just click on Frequency. So whichever uh, this thing that you want to hide the frequency is here, you push it into this side. You can push all of them at once. The function key just work like that. You can click here, hold and come and put it at the down here and push it. Or you can just do it one after the other. So we know that what to waste time. Since we want to do it for all of this, we just push it in here. And then that is it. Hello. Hi. We just want a frequency table. So you just check on this. We won't go to any of this side. We won't go here. Later on, we will deal with those ones. So you just click on OK. And then straight away, we have all the results we have the percentages and then they are distant so like we did at first you can copy this individually into your excel sheet and then reformat them or you can just export them so what we're going to do is to just export it into excel sheet like a results sheet then we'll work on it so you click on excel you are, if it is the first time you are doing you have to choose the type of file you want it to come out but since we've done it before that is what we want it to be in excel so we choose the location we want it to go, okay? The location and the name. So this one, the file name, we want the file name to uh, to be just demo, okay? We want the file name to be demo. And then we choose the location. We click here, browse, and then bring us to this side. You can click on this side and then choose wherever you want it to go. Since we are storing all our uh, this thing in one uh, this thing research console to so we'll put it here but this one is new analysis so we'll put it here as demo that is just save it here click on ok and then once you finish the uh, spots when you go into demo you realize that your results will be there as an excel sheet so you see now we have a demo excel sheet so all that we need to do is to just come to this side now and then come and then what format this table to the likes of what we're having what yesterday so like i said you can do all of this together at once without 
wasting time. So what we do is that first and foremost, I'll click on this side, and then the unmerged cells, cells that have been measured, I'll unmerge them by clicking on this side. Then I'll take the parts that I don't want out. So all of these parts are summaries that I will not go into my results. So I'll just take it out quickly. And you see how I delete it. I click on the row numbers to delete them. Good. I will not need these cumulative percentages for anything. So I'll take that one to out. And do you remember yesterday, we have to come and count the denominators to see if they match before we'll be able to see which denominator we should use to the, uh, divide at each particular group because some, for some of them, they were missing what variables. With SPSS, those particular percentages are taken care of for you. So you have two percentage. You have the percentage and you have the valid percentage. So when you are here, you realize there is one missing in the system, but it will use still the 150 to do the percentages for this side. But when you come to this side, it takes that missing uh, what do you call it, uh, one out and use the 140 what, 49 to do the percentage. In this case, it is the valid percentage that you are what you are interested in. Hello? Right, so in this case, we can take this, we can take this one out quickly so that we are left with just the frequency and then the proportions. So what we need now is to just take the parts we don't want out. So we don't want this one, we'll take it out quickly okay then this ones we may want to put the title as a header here so we just cut this and put the title here quickly so the next one is kill what kill two uh kill two since we want to move fast let's just put the question number here okay then we'll take all of these ones out we'll take it all out then the next one will be what? Kill free. So we cut kill free and come and put it here. Then we don't want all of this. You know, the, uh, what do you call it? The total at the bottom is repetitive. So we just take it out also. Okay. We just take the one two out. Then we move on to the next one quickly. So that will be kill four. We just take kill four and come and put it in here. Then we take all of these ones out that we don't need. Uh, you are not obliged to do it the way I'm doing it. You can just cut your thing or copy your thing anywhere and rearrange it the way you want it. But I think this is faster. So I'm doing it the way I do it. Uh, you can do it any way that you want. So all the way down to the total. I don't need that part. So I'll just take it out. I'll move on to the next stage. I'll take my kill six for what is wet and come and put it in here. Then I'll take all of this out up to the total. So that slowly I am building my what my table. I'll take the kill seven in here. That is for religion. Uh, of I think respondents religion. The next one will be the religion for the partner. So I'll take the ones I don't need out. So when I take the question header, I bring it to a, to the top of those questions. Okay. And then I delete all the way to the total because I don't need the total also. Good. I will need the total only once at the, at the top. So here too, I'll just take this one and then bring it here and then take all of these ones out. So I'm left with one last delete, copy, and everything should be fine. Okay, for this 4-4 four, four guys, I don't know which they were, but I think those were the guys that we made them informal, right? I think we made them formal or informal yesterday. They were all informal, yeah. So we should have added them to this one. Good. So let's just delete them for today because of time. Let's take it out. Good. So when you do this and then you delete the top here, that is the last thing we need to delete. When we do this, straight here, the column A is also not needed. So I'll just take that one too out. So straight away, I'm having my table. So I'll put here parameter 
okay or if you like i'll just take this one out the total i'll just take it out and then fix it in here i'll paste these cells here and i wanted to put them down here okay so let's just cut them and paste them down here good okay so now the top here i put what my parameter there uh, i might say in some uh, discipline they don't like using the word parameter some use inputs and all other things that they want to be questions and all those things then here will be frequency and then that side will be what will be percentage so i don't need these ones here i just take them out so this one i don't need valid i need percentage hello yeah so now after i've gotten this i don't need this so i'll take this one out i'll just take the ones that i don't need out quickly i'll take those things out quickly in fact i can even use find a replace to do that to make it look go faster but i think with this you can easily what remove them so i don't need them to be interrupting with my table now after i finish with this one i want the table sizes to be the same the cell sizes to be the same okay as it is now they are not so this is what i'll do okay i'll go to a cell that i think is okay very normal cell and then after i click on the cell like this i go and look for the cell properties hello are you there so i go to the cell properties like this one i come to the format here okay so you realize that the row sizes are there when you click on it you see the row size the row size is what 15 so all that i will do is that i will copy it click on okay so i'll just come and select all of this like this all my tables like this go back to the format click on the row then i'll paste my 15 in there and click on ok so i'm sure all the row sizes are now 15. are you okay good so now i click on that side again i go to the format then now i click on the what on the column width so i click on the column width and i see this is the column width so i'll just copy this column width because i want it to look like just like this one so i'll just highlight all of this go back to the format click on it okay come to column width and then i just paste that that i copied inside it so after i finish all the column has been what has been gathered like the way are are you okay yeah so i'll just copy it now like this yeah when we go to word we will do that so we just go to this side we'll polish we do the polishing of what so the new table that we are bringing we just take it down here okay then let me hold this side all right so it, it's gone it has come here even though they are in prison tables don't be worried so i'll just click on this one like this then i'll come here take no border hello all right so um now we can do all the borders and things that we want the palatinos and all the stuff so if you want to do the layout like we did at this side you come here layout and then you click on what on the layout you can see it there you can pick on this one hello and then this one you want it to be what align center right good so you may want to change the fonts now you see you see which one is simple 
Oh, okay. Okay, so with this one, it's very easy because the percentages have been done for it. Okay. So I think we should reduce a little because we added a few variables to them. So. Are the line space? The line space. This one. It came with none. All right, so yeah. So now we just left with this one. Go to this side, choose the border, and then what do we do? Two and quarter, border top, border the button, click on OK. We go to this side. We go back to the border and shading and then just apply it to the bottom this time around. So you realize that we have generated basically the same this thing that we did yesterday. Uh, just that now we have so many things in there. We can take them out if you want. So yesterday we have the total respondent status, marital status, um, age, two ages. And then to education, that was where we ended yesterday. Yeah, so, yeah we added more to it. Yeah, the employment and the stuff we added to it. So we could take those things out if you want to, and then make the table just act the same way. Today we added religion and all that to it. Yeah. So, in effect, this is what we mean when we say demographic variables. Uh, we are able to virtually done the same thing that we did with what you call the SL and in the ESPSS. You realize that after you have transformed the data, it becomes very easy for you to, what, to build the table, the percentages and things. You don't need to sort them anymore. And then you just do that. Okay, so on that note, uh, we want to bring this lecture into a close. Well, we've done the same table one, but with what? SPSS. Yeah, you want to ask a question? SPSS, do you want to do something in the back of that? No, the outcome, the outcome will have to come. It, it could be done at the results session. You could edit the results, all right. But you don't need to. Once the, what do you call it, the, the outcome, you take it to SL, then you can format it. You realize this one, we exported it into SL and then we formatted it. So the same way, once you get a results in a table in SPSS, you can just export it to SL. Then you can put it into any form that you want. Everything, like just like we did. Once it comes as an SL sheet, just like any SL sheet. All right. Uh, thanks for coming. We ended class today um, and continue God willing tomorrow.